So hey, we're back. Uh, when I hit the hotkey to record, it turns out that I have uh, actually quite a number of uh, quite a number of things that are cooked to my keyboard. So what happens is that I accidentally hitting I accidentally hit something in game. That said, I think we're gonna do some item management first because I have to haul all of these things up to the floor with me so I'm ready for the boss fight. Or that's what I want to happen, but. Uh, with that said, let's be sure that we have everything we need. This should be the last one, but again, we need to haul all of these things up to the uh, to the fifth floor with us so that we can... Um, we have everything we need up on the final floor. So we'll take a bunch of healing items up first, and then I'll find out what I want to... Uh, what I want to be... What I want to keep with me or drop as soon as I get up there. Up there, but... I think I have the who has uh someone has the black card key right yeah because you can save some room uh, you can say you can give yourself more inventory space for the final boss fight here um, if you get rid of the black card key but you need the black card key to open all of these doors up here so that said uh I do need to make sure that. I'm somewhat healed before, so the downside, quote unquote downside, uh, to uh, my managing your items up to this final floor is that you might get into fights in the meanwhile, but um, usually that's not a problem if you've been efficient with your item use, so it's, this should be, ultimately it's, it's for the best that you do this, but so we're gonna drop, we're gonna drop everything we have here, so this timestamp should just be basically item management, but for a good reason, because if I end up dying, it's a shorter walk back up here. Of course, if I get hit by- if I get hit a lot and uh, have to use too many healing items, or end up just dying straight out, uh, it'll be really bad. I think I'm just gonna do this. Uh, we'll just take the bleeding damage when necessary. But we will heal it with a bandage. I don't think- if anything, the boss would- uh, if anything, the boss maybe paralyzes, but it shouldn't bleed me. And even if that's the case, um, because this is on hard mode, I do need to be aware of things. I don't have hearts as a HP, uh, as a more padding to HP. Is that though? Is that what I want to say? But um, I don't think there are any ghosts either. And if there are, I will just run. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna open up as much inventory space as possible before I um, head back down. I think I need at least two trips. Maybe we'll we'll I'll I'll need a third, but we'll we'll find out then. So, but this is nonetheless an important part. I could cut this out, but otherwise you're just. I actually I could cut this out. We'll see if I do that. Uh, we'll keep that with me. The notebook uh actually will leave here because I shouldn't need to save. Actually, I should save just to save more in real life time. But I think we'll be okay. It. I could be a bit braver and leave all these on the ground, and I just run from a lot of uh, enemy encounters, but... Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, no, we'll leave the bandage. There's too much, th there are too many bad things that can happen, so we're gonna do that. And I didn't pick up the card key yet, actually I should have picked up the card key, but... Uh, yeah, we'll keep going. I don't need to read anything here, I don't think, so... And, uh, to the mutant we fight, but... We should still be okay. If I somehow end up dying, uh, I will be making a cut, but otherwise if you're watching- Oh my goodness, the damage! Otherwise if you're watching this, I should be fine. Spoiler? Question mark? I mean, Schrodinger's- uh, what do- what do I want to say? Schrodinger's cut? No, that makes no sense, right? Because the point is to look in the box- point is that you haven't looked in the box and you haven't seen- seen anything, so- uh, I could enter that door and probably try to pick more stuff up, but we're not going to do that, so hopefully I get to run for free here. Don't fight me right here. Okay, good. And we'll keep managing items. There's probably more healing items I've left around the uh, left around the game, pretty much, but... Again, we should be fine here, unless something really, really strange happens. Uh, I need this magic stone. I need both of them, actually. And which books do I want? Um, we'll take sanity healing items. My sanity will heal. Uh, my sanity will heal at the final battle here, or right before the final battle. So again, the question is, what do I really need? Um, I think I have the choice of using the magic stone on whoever I want, but 
Let's be sure. One of these is one of these books is useless to me, however. So water, what is that? What does that give me? Not that. Oh, I have to equip it, that's right. <laughs> uh let me see what skills I get here. Cure vitality. I guess. You know, actually that could be useful. Because it'll save me on items I need to bring in, but Let's take another look. I think one of them I don't need to use as uh, a monster growls in the distance, but again, let's be sure here. This is more the strategy phase, so raise defense of one person and then blessing. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get the other one. I think I'm locked out of getting the other, um, the, f the fourth book, but uh, that's fine. I don't, I, again, I don't particularly need it. Um, you have enough item and resources to not die, so uh, yeah, we're hoping. We're hoping that good things happen. So I think Kataga and uh, basically a lot of the healing from the Water Tome is going to benefit me. But we'll see if that's actually not great. Otherwise, I'm I'm going to be using uh, the Book of Kataga to deal DPS. Or the Fire Tome, I guess I'll say for short. Um, that said, I think everyone else, I think other people can be holding the magic stone, uh, because I want the MC to be holding healing items because they have, uh, pharmaceutics. I'll leave healing, uh, probably like a green herb on Yurie and Daiki, but nonetheless, I still need, uh, I want the others to hold the healing items in case the MC goes down or bad things happen, so... I think that's the plan, and I think I... No, I didn't. Did I? Did I bring the red card key with me? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. And now let's finally do this. Hopefully nothing really, really bad happens. I guess I'll just focus on running, because uh, it's not like levels are doing a lot for me right now anyway. Because uh, the main point is that every five levels, so level 5, 10, 15, 20, you get a heart on normal difficulty, but um, since I'm not on normal difficulty, all I really get is sanity increases, so... Yeah, let's find out. Um, so now we can drop anything we want to that we don't uh, particularly need, uh, unfortunately. So shouldn't need this. Um, let's see here. We, I, I want, I need to keep sanity healing items on people. So let's actually give. I think Yuria and Daiki will be holding all of the sanity items. Uh, the MC shouldn't need any, and then I also need to keep the red card key on someone. Probably on Yurie. She won't be using items the most, uh, is what I want to say. And then the amulet, I'm going to... Uh, amulet, I think you leave on pretty much in this final area. Let's find out. So, these green herbs go to Yurie and Daiki. And I think... That's mostly it. Um, I'm keeping the shovel on me. Yeah, I'm keeping the shovel. Wait, actually, did I? Healing and defense skills? Question mark. Did I take the wrong one? Please tell me I don't didn't bring the wrong one. Otherwise, this is gonna be a real interesting battle, and I might make a cut. But oh, yep, yeah, I did. So uh, I left the wrong book on the other floor. This gives me more space, but I think. I would have preferred to. Um, I would have preferred to have the other book instead. One, one, I, uh, one healing item isn't probably not gonna make the. Uh, it's not going to be the. It's not gonna be gonna be what I want is what I want to say. But yeah, we'll we'll see how this goes. This is gonna go really oof. So this should be more than enough if. The MC needs... If the... Ah! MC needs healing items. Please let me run. Okay, good. Uh, there's ointment there as well. But, again, the MC will be holding... Okay, so actually I had more space to hold another book. But, at this point... Um, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. No, actually, no. I need to grab the mixed herbs. Oh, no, I don't. Because I want to leave this on the ground, pick up the notebook, and then save. Before I enter the... Uh, the final boss. So, yeah, we've saved. We have the item, all the items we want. 
Uh, if I were to optimize anything, I'd probably trade the medical ointment for the the book that I left behind. But well, we this is all we have left, so we're ready. Let's go. If you've seen the first playthrough already, I'm going to be skipping through the dialogue here, mostly. At the end, I'll slow down because, um, yeah, I don't think I've done this with Daiki and Yurie on video yet. So, three. But, uh, yeah, on hard mode... Oh, I didn't heal the MC. <laughs> I should have used the green herb on the MC. I didn't. So, let's see if the MC survives at least one attack. If not, this is going to be a very short... Uh, battle, and it's gonna be a very quick cut. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, I won't be showing you everything in this game, but there was one more thing after this, uh, uh one more thing left, which I'll probably make another video for. Uh, there's a few other things that I haven't shown you, but if that's the case, please play the game yourself. I think it's actually quite cheap now. Um, I, if it does go on sale on uh, Steam, then it will, uh, and that's when I definitely... You know, advise you give it at least a one-off, uh, because you can do you can get the true ending in one run if you've seen um, the run I've done. But if you're going for a hundred percent, you need at least three, four runs, maybe more, uh, because you need to grind. But I'll explain that in the next video after this, if I, if and when that comes out, because anything could happen. But I do plan to release a video on uh, the one of the one of the most difficult things. I've made uh, mentions of it, but I haven't shown you what that is that I think I've given hints but or the game has also given hints so hey Sakura uh yeah we'll deal with the god let's uh heal our sanity for free but uh this could actually be quite bad so uh 4 HP I think uh, I'm immediately going to... So this isn't uh, ideal, but I'm going to have to immediately heal myself, if possible. I think the god is faster. Never mind. So... And uh, sanity will be my duty, but if they go insane... If I want to be optimal, I should be healing them when they go insane. But if we're, I think I'm going to be kind of, gonna kind of uh, try anything. I do have mental recovery as well, so... I'll, I'll use that when possible, and Yurie and Daiki will be using their weapons. If I wanted to do extra stuff, I'd actually make a second video after the next one. Oh my goodness, you took so much damage, Yurie. Nope, that's not what I... Good thing I'm not the last character to act, but... Yeah, that's... Oh my goodness, the damage. <laughs> so... They do do a lot of uh, HP damage. Of course, they're... Yurie and Daiki are not the... Um... They're not the tankiest characters to bring with you. That would probably go to Mamoru and uh, Goro, but that said, uh, we should be fine for now. Even if one of them goes down, I think I'll have the faster characters try to pick the others up. If a character does happen to die, then I, that just means I have to cut, and you'll, you'll be seeing a continuation of the fight. That said, though, um, the game will warn me when I'm running low on MP if I'm not already, not already tracking it myself. Yurie doing jumpy attacks will help out, but that depends entirely on RNG. Otherwise, I'll probably be uh, putting... Uh, I'll probably have... Uh, yeah, so 5 MP left. I'll probably have Yurie put a fried chicky in her own mouth. Uh, and the tablets I save for when they're actually insane, but uh, so if you want to be somewhat brave, you can give them the mental tablet as well, if it does nearly the same thing. Of course, if we all get pummeled like this, then I need to immediately um, give myself some medical ointment and have everyone else try to heal. So Yuri will give that to herself. Um, Daiki will give himself a green herb. I know I said I was going to save it, but he could just end up going down immediately as well, but... Uh, we have some time, so thankfully, thankfully the boss gave me some time. Um, Daiki, I think, I think, is it a waste to, uh, I'm gonna have Yurie give him a green herb. So now my main character is the only one with healing, but, actually I should have had Daiki, well, now, yeah, it's too late now. Hopefully I kill the boss before anything really bad happens, but until then, um... You know what? We'll, uh... No, we'll burn it on Daiki, question mark? Uh... Uh, shoot. Well... 
We'll actually shield... Oh no, I can't shield. That can't shield. Well, should've given myself a magic stone, but we'll have Yurie do it. And uh, let's see what happens here. This could end up going really badly for me, but... Oh, oh please, Daiki. Okay, good. Um... Yeah, funny enough, I think the... I think the, uh... Taking the other book would have been for the best. I don't have it, so... Big whoops, but... Hopefully we survive, and if we don't, uh, I'll be really sad. Uh, let's go full DPS then. Please! I need a lot of good RNG. Okay, that's fine for now. Yuri is close to dying, but I still have uh, healing items. I'm gonna give the mixed herb to myself. Um, we'll stuff this in Yurie's mouth. I probably should have waited. He's probably gonna do a damage attack, but yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, please don't die. Uh, I have no healing items, so I really need to not die now. I think it'll take at least two or three more turns, though. Oh goodness. Don't die! Okay, we have some time left. Please die! Oh, please die! Please die! Yuri is okay, she dodged that luckily. Oh, I just have, have to take the risk, otherwise the MC dies and it's over anyway. Nope, he's dead. So let's try this again. Uh, funny enough, I think grabbing a bulletproof vest would have been for the best, but I didn't do that, so if this takes too long, then we'll see what happens. Uh, so, as usual, we'll go all out. Ikita's, or the MC is missing one point of HP, but hopefully things go well. Um, again, I think, I'm pretty sure that lack, or RNG just being bad for me, but um, yeah, that... Uh, that RNG wasn't great. Receiving 10 damage immediately wasn't great. So, and that's because I made the... Well, as I said earlier, I made the MC really squishy like that. So, um, even if he had his full HP, he would have went down immediately there. So, uh, yeah, we'll do this, and hopefully we don't die immediately. The boss usually gives us some time. I think it mostly does sanity, sanity attacks, but uh, I don't want to stick around to find out, so... And I think some overlap of my magic stones is quite fine, but we'll see. Um, so, we'll mental recovery here. We might as well use it. That way they can spend mo we can spend more time doing damage. Oh, that's right. We have to wait for them to go insane. So, that was a waste of a turn. But regardless, uh, let's do this. Oh, goodness. And we'll keep moving on. Yurie, how Yurie, however, um, yeah, we just have to let them go insane. It's not like I need any more achievements. Um, I'm actually doing this, these runs for the videos on a clean save, and I accidentally attacked with uh, Akita, so that was not great. But uh, let's use this on Daiki. I think Daiki's the one with the um, the herbs, right? The one one last herb, so. We'll do that. I could be shielding and stuff, but no one here is really a tank, so... Let's hope that... Uh, let's hope that bad things don't happen while I'm sitting here. Uh, you know what? We might as well... I might as well have Yurei tablet herself. That way I'm not wasting a turn with the MC. Or, I don't know, maybe I'm doing this all wrong. Maybe I'm just tired, but goodness gracious, this is really painful. Um, well, Medical Ointment, Yurie instead, and keep focusing on damage. So, if everything goes well, this shouldn't be as hard as it really should be, uh, or, or, or as it seems, but... I mean, we're taking a bunch of damage, so maybe I do need to bring the, <laughs> the other book with me. So, everyone else needs to focus on DPS, though. I don't really have a choice. So... Ah, oh, Daiki, please! Um... Yeah, why not, right? Uh, let's see. Anything else I need to do? Not really. I can. That can wait. Uh, if he if he hits me really hard like that, then someone's going down. But that's what these herbs are for. Uh, let's see here. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Yeah, let's uh, 
let's hope everything goes well, because if someone ends up dying, I'm not going to stand for it. So, I think that's all of my healing items as well. So, here's hoping for the best. Um, no one else has any more healing items, so we're really just going all in. Uh, with that said, we might as well Green Herb Daiki. And so that he can live an AoE attack, maybe. But at this point, we're we're going full DPS. Uh, so hopefully this goes well. I need to magic stone. I need to magic stone the MC for sure. That way I get more he uh, more damage out for the rest of the battle. But otherwise, we're going full DPS. I don't think I even have time to magic stone anymore. I don't even remember how much HP this boss has, but we'll find out. Don't hit me! Okay, good. Yuri has some more sanity to lose, and if need be, I will give her mental recovery. So, uh, yeah, keep attacking. Otherwise, I could have had Daiki do the, uh, give the... Yeah, actually, Daiki's not doing as much damage as he should! Um, but... Yeah, oh my goodness. Well... Well, here's the, here's the funny thing. I'm pretty much dead. Um... Please die. Whoa. It's fine, Yuri A. Daiki. You'll, you, uh, we'll drag your bodies with us, injured as you are. So, um, <laughs> if I really wanted to learn the HP, I would probably go back in recording or any video that has a battle with this boss and calculate it myself. But it's fine. We did it, Daiki. We defeated qu question mark the god. Not really, but we're gonna run anyway. So, without further ado, uh, with that cut. Uh, we're going to, we're going to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for that exactly, but we should be fine for now. If nothing else, I will be working on the, the last video I'll do for this game. Question, uh, well, the next, I'll, I will be doing one more video. Um, you'll see that. And, uh, to give you a sneak peek, it's mostly going to be my, me commentating because I'm not going to show you what goes, be it's, it's a really long grind process, basically. Um, the higher, the more you grind, I think the max level is 20 regardless, but if you, the more you grind, if you want to reach a level 20, that gives you a much, uh, safer, how should I say, threshold to, um, it gives you a much safer fight, I guess I should say, but I think minimum is level 15 because, again, like I said earlier, um, if I didn't say it already, five, each, every five levels, 5, 10, 15, 20 gives you a heart, so that's four hearts that you can use along with sprays that you can use, um, to give yourself more hearts for that fight. This final boss is, like, leagues easier. I don't know why, but it, I guess it is, but... Yeah, we'll we'll leave it at that. I also plan to say play the other two games. If, if you've already haven't already seen my Halloween playlist, or if you search Cthulhu Myth Mythos, I believe so, or uh, look for a Crimson Legend on my channel. You'll see me playing through the first thirty minutes ish of that game. Ten minutes is more the character creation process, which is quite important actually. But um, there, yeah, there's also uh, yeah thirty minutes of gameplay kind of to get you in, and that's not even the full game, because I think another 30 minutes, if I had another 30 minutes to add on to that, you would see, I think, more of the complete game, along with um, some other side things. But, and then the third game I haven't touched yet, because again, neither of the next two pre games that proceed, precede, secede this one, uh, Miasma C, have been translated at any length, so anyone who wants to go check out those games has to, um, have some knowledge of well, you don't need to. It's just you probably won't know what you're doing. I'm not. I'm not gonna say you can't play those games, but it'll be hard to understand and know what to do for sure. Uh, that said, there's a lot of things that uh, that are carried from Miasma C to those two games. You still have uh, medical. You still have adhesive plasters. You still have medical ointments. Uh, in true to Cthulhu, any Cthulhu RPG, TRPG, you have sanity sanity levels to manage. You have um, you need to make sure not to die to HP damage as well. But they do add other things. The third game is the one that has the most because I think it has an append DLC as well that allows you to do extra things. And there's a bunch of gameplay in for it in Japanese. Uh, but I want to try to try to see what I can do for them in English if I have the time because I'm also doing my own things. Uh, elsewhere. But without further ado, this is my Asma C. Again, I haven't gone through every permutation of what you can do. I've gone through most of it, but in the spirit of trying to keep things spoiler-free and not ruining 
anyone's experience if they want to play the games themselves. Even though if you might say, you know, doing most of the achievements is kind of spoilery, but hey, uh, I want to at least at least give this game its due credit at minimum. So unlock three achievements, but really I've already unlocked everything on the on my uh, main save anyway. And by main save, I mean a whole different thing. There's a way to make uh, your saves clean, cleaner when you're playing through. So, hey, we got the second picture because I don't think I did the, I don't think I did the male MC on this channel anyway. But yeah, without further ado, if there's any other things, I'll probably put a link to the description uh, in the description to the game below on Steam. The other two, you'll have to look for yourself, but they shouldn't be hard. They're all, um, there are quite a few, uh, Cthulhu's Mythos RPG games, but if you search for the developer name, you'll also find them. And you get, I, I get these cool uh, extra items, but really, if you know what to do, you'll get better ones. So, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video if and when I make it. And thank you for watching. If you want to support me long term, please subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, uh, yeah, again, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.